I'm Andrew Kim from Thingamajig Theatre, and we're going to be making a flying bird mobile. We were going to perform Kit and Caboodle at the Beverly Puppet Festival before the event went online. Kit and Caboodle is a puppet show built on a rolling pack mule. It tells stories and songs of migration, from the annual journey of a butterfly to the remarkable stories of people past and present searching for a new, safe and happy home. To make a flapping bird mobile, you will need printer paper, pencil, cardboard, cereal box or similar, I'm using a box from tea bags, desk stapler, masking tape, scissors, saucepan, corn flour or cornstarch, whisk, measuring cups, bowl, two matching plastic pots, string, stick, two of the same coins, pin, markers and pencils, and a button. Take a piece of A4 printer paper, put it on its side so it's wider than it is tall. On the top half of the paper, draw a bird as if it's flying to the left. Include the head, the tail, and the body. On the top of the shoulders, draw it fairly flat as this is where the wings will attach. Next, I'll draw one wing as if I'm looking at it from above. Use almost the entire width of the paper. Make a straight line on the sides where it will attach to the body. Don't draw too much detail as this will make it harder to cut out and paper mache later. Cut this out with scissors. Make sure you're happy with the angle of the wing in all positions. I think I'm going to cut mine a little more so that the wings are pointed back a bit more. Now we'll transfer this to a piece of cardboard. Make sure you are using just a single layer cardboard, like you might get in an online delivery. Not the heavy cardboard you would get a television or your bicycle in. Find a piece of cardboard where the whole template will fit. We don't want it to go over any creases. Trace the body and two pieces of the wing. Cut this out with scissors. Try not to let the cardboard crease as you cut it. If you're an adult, you can use a Stanley knife to cut this if you prefer. Next, we'll make the hinge for the wings. Take a lightweight box like from a cereal box. I'm using a box from tea bags. We just want the top part of the box lid which folds. Cut two of these. Attach to the underside of the wings, flush to the edge. Staple this nice and close to the edge. Make sure there are no sharp staples coming through. If there are, you can flatten this down with your fingernail or your scissors. Do this again with the other wing. Make sure they are symmetrical. Attach this to the body. Do one side, flatten the staples, and then do the other. It's very important that the wings are even from all sides. Next, we need to make paper mache paste. If you have access to a stove and have corn flour, which is also called cornstarch in some countries, use this method. 
be sure to ask for an adult for help if you are not an adult. You can also use PVA glue mixed with a little water for this job. Get 1 eighth cup corn flour, 1 fourth cup water. Mix it together with your hands until it's smooth. Boil one and one fourth cup of water. When it's boiling rapidly, slowly add the dissolved corn flour and whisk vigorously. It's important that you are only adding when it's boiling, so just add a little bit and then let it come back to a boil before adding more. You should see it thickening soon. Whisk until it is smooth and leave this to cool. After it's cooled enough to touch, pour it into a bowl. We are ready to paper mache the bird. This will make your bird much stronger when it is dry. Take some white printer paper and tear it into smaller pieces. It's important that you don't get the cardboard too wet or it will get too floppy. So don't dunk the pieces into the glue but take a small amount in your hands and add it to both sides of the paper. Tear into smaller pieces and then go over the edge of the wing. Overlap piece by piece. Try to avoid making wrinkles or air bubbles. This takes a little patience. Don't rush this stage. Go over the paper hinges but do not paper mache the seam where it bends. Use a plastic container to hold the bird as you work. When you go over the tips of the wings and the beak, be sure to use very small pieces. Always be careful not to bend the cardboard. If you notice a bend starting to form where you don't want it, you can add a few extra pieces over the crease. When this dries, it should be okay. Let the wings dry for a few hours before paper macheing the body. Leave it on two containers the same height so the wings will stay straight as it dries. You can leave it on a sunny windowsill. If you're in a rush, you can gently dry it with a hairdryer. After a few hours, the wings are mostly dry and less likely to bend. Now to do the rest of the body. I go right up to the edge of the hinge, but I don't paper mache where it needs to bend. Now, let this dry. It's the next day and the paper mache is completely dry and the cardboard is nice and rigid. Gently make sure that the wings still have a full range in movement. Now we are going to make some holes for the strings. Every bird will be a little different so be patient with this stage. You have to make the best guess of where the holes should go and then change them if you need to. My wings are about 25 centimeters, so I'm going to guess that my holes should be a little less than half, at about 10 centimeters from the body. To make holes, take a nail and carefully push it through, making sure your fingers are away from where the nails will go through. Find a stick which is about 25 centimeters long. 
You can also use a garden pea stick or a disposable chopstick. Take some string, which is not stretchy, and cut two lengths that are about 50 centimeters long. Cut one length, which is about 35 centimeters, and another, which is about 15 centimeters long. Tie one end of the 35 centimeter string with a loop, which you can hang the bird. Tie the other end to the center of the stick. Run the 50 centimeter strings through the two holes in the wings and tie them the same length in a bow so you can adjust the length later. Take two 2 pence coins or two 50 pence coins and tape them with masking tape on the ends of the wings. Put a hole through the belly and tie the last piece of string through it. Put a pin in a door frame to have somewhere to hang your bird. You might need to ask an adult for help. Hang the stick from this pin. Hang the bird on the stick. This next part is a little trial and error, so try to be patient. You probably won't get the balance right on the first go. I can see that it's leaning too far back, so I need to place the holes further back. Back to the drawing board. Take the strings off. Let's try some holes further back and closer in. Make sure it's the same on both sides and add the strings as before. Looks like there's too much weight on the outsides of the wings, so let's try moving them in. In this case, the two pence coins seem too heavy, so now I'm trying 1p coins. Every little helps in these times. Have a couple of pieces of masking tape ready. Hang the bird on the stick and tape the lines on the stick. Balance isn't quite ready yet, but closer. After a few trials and errors, I finally found the right balance. I ended up making a few more sets of holes as you can see and changing the lines in and out on the stick. It takes a bit of patience, but as you can see I'm happy with the balance. Now let's cover the holes we're not using and paper mache the coins in place. If the paper mache paste is a little thick, you can mix in a tiny bit of water. Keep the paper fairly dry as you cover up the holes and tape. Now we'll need to let this paper fully dry. If you want to hurry the process along, you can gently dry it with a hair dryer, or you can leave it overnight to dry. We have a few different options to decorate your bird. If you have paint, you can paint it now. If you don't have paint, you can paper mache another layer of colored paper. Here's another bird I made with just colored paper. With this one, I will use markers and colored pencils. I printed a photo of a greater spotted woodpecker as this is a bird I've enjoyed watching on my walks this spring. And I have black and red markers and pencils. First, I'll take a pencil and draw some of the details. I will draw in the areas that I know will be black and the areas which I 
will be red and the areas which I know will stay white. I'll take the markers and fill in these areas. I'll try to imagine the directions of the feathers as I draw so there will seem to be some movement. I will leave a little white spot in the eyes to make it seem shiny. Then I'll go through with a colored pencil to blend and add texture. Take your time with this. The more careful you are, the more amazing it will be. After about an hour of coloring, here's the finished bird. The last thing, take the string in the bottom and tie a button to it. This is so it will be easier to pull. Finally, let's hang it back up and see how it looks. Not bad. I think I'll put my bird in my garden. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed making your bird. I'm Andrew Kim from Thingamajig Fear and I hope you stay safe and creative.